Ryan, describe an exchange traded note. So an exchange traded note takes one key difference from an exchange traded fund in the sense that exchange traded funds or what they call bankruptcy remote. Um, that means uh, if ABSA or any of the issuers of ETFs happens to um, fall under liquidation, the assets in that particular fund would be ring fenced from any bankruptcy event for the particular issuer. With an exchange traded note, that is not uh, the case. So what happens with exchange traded notes? Yes, they sit on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange and a market is made in those by the issuer, but you take on as an investor in an exchange traded note, you take on the credit risk of that particular issuing bank. So, you know, simply put, if you had a top 40 ETF uh, issued from uh, Standard Bank, for example, um, and you had a top 40 ETN issued by that same bank, if Standard Bank went into liquidation, the assets in the ETF would be ring fenced, um, whereas the assets in the ETN would not be, and you would have to stand in the queue along with all other creditors uh, to be paid. Generally, ETNs are issued as what they call senior unsecured paper, which means you don't rank as highly in, in the liquidation triangle, as I call it, as, um, let's say, depositors and the liquidator, um, but you uh, rank higher than, let's say, equity holders in that particular institution. So um, when investing in ETNs, it's very important to know what credit risk you are exposed to.